Following our second consecutive Supercopa victory, we have been active in the transfer market as players moving in and out of the club as we prepare for group stage play in the CONCACAF Central American Cup. We're just hoping that our team can gel in time. Welcome back, one and all, to episode number 63 of the American Dream. I am Mr. Cellophane. If you've enjoyed the series so far, make sure you hit a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, please. And thank you. As we mentioned in the intro, players moving in and out of the club, none bigger than goalkeeper Mohamed Kante. He joined us last year. He was absolutely spectacular for us, took us all the way to the quarterfinals of the CONCACAF Champions Cup. However, Mexican side Nakaya came in with an offer that he demanded we take. So we had no choice but to sell our first choice goalkeeper. But have no fear, we already had his replacement waiting in the wings. 25-year-old Tunisian international Hussem Bouheni. He's a little bit better in the air. He is very fit. He's a little bit quicker as well. Very similar in style to Conte hoping that he can give us the same results. And the price was most certainly right. We got him for free. Also leaving the club permanently is 18-year-old U19 international striker Javier Quesada. He was a little bit deeper on our depth chart than we would have liked. We do have a ton of depth at striker at the moment. Plus, his potential cap was not nearly as high as some of our other prospects. So for $215,000 plus some add-ons, he's off to Herediano. We also sent out a couple of our players for additional playing time this year. Going out on loan to Santa Ana, the newly promoted club, is 20-year-old Jorge Ramirez. The left back was our third or maybe even fourth choice at this point, so he could stand to do with a little additional seasoning. And we also loaned out Jesus Ceballos, who we picked up last year as a free agent. He's out on loan to Herediano again Plenty of depth at the DM position, and he just wasn't getting the playing time that he wanted. But Buheni wasn't the only big name we signed on a free over the summer. Kelvin Ofori just celebrated his 30th birthday, and he has already begun contributing to the team. We'll see that in just a moment. He is very versatile. He can play anywhere on the right-hand side. He can play striker. He can play the 10. Not fantastic in the air, but a tremendous amount of ability. He works hard. And he's going to fit in very well. We did play a pair of matches in the league to tune ourselves up for the Continental competition. And Ofori scoring early from the penalty spot to make it 1-0 Saprisa. Akista showing a great amount of persistence. Gets it into the box to Moreira, who puts it past the goalkeeper to make it 2-0. Ofori would get a second opportunity after a handball. 3-0 Saprisa and Eduardo Cordero would add a fourth. Three penalties called against Santos, and we took advantage of each and every one. So Ofori, with a pair of goals, getting off to a very early start, bringing his scoring boots to Saprissa. We would have a bit more of a challenge against Cartagines on the road in our second match as Munguia played it back to Montero. Great passing to give them the 1-0 lead. We would come back. Beautiful pass to Ofori. Getting involved again, taking it deep into the middle. Second goal of the year for Cordero to tie things up at one. Cartagenas would go down to 10 men in the 55th minute as Rashir Parkins was sent off for a two-footed tackle on Ofori. We could not press our advantage. We got off 17 shots to their four, but in the end, it was even at one. Guatemalan side Zacapa is going to be our first opponent at home in the group stage of the CONCACAF Central American Cup. We just played a couple of days ago, so we are going to be rotating a couple of new players into the squad. Hussem Buhemi is going to get the start in goal. Our back four is going to be Luis Mora, Nassim Innocente, making his first appearance of the year. We still have not yet found a move for him. Aaron Vieira, the 22-year-old, is going to start next to him. He is also a foreigner. He is number six on our squad. So he right now is not registered for our league squad. We're hoping that Innocenti will go out on a move and Vieira can actually get some playing time. Hugo Cordero is going to complete things as our right back. It's going to be Alejandro Brand and Jorge Valverde in the midfield. 
Diego Moreira will man the 10. On the left wing side, it's going to be our brand new vice captain, William Ramirez. Juan Diego Secaria is going to get the start on the right hand side. And Edward Lopez will serve as our striker to start things off. We come into the match pretty heavy favorites. Hopefully our strategic rotating isn't going to come and bite us in the butt. We did win our group last year to make it into the knockout rounds. We are expected to do the same this year as Acapa looks to be taking a very defensive stance to start this match. Again, it is early doors in the season, which means we're a little rusty, both as individuals and as a team, as we have made a handful of changes to our side this year. But Edward Lopez picking up where he left off, except he was offside. But Saprisa beginning to start to ask some questions of the Zacapa defense. Played back to Alejandro Braun. He'll send it back in the box. Zecharia. Plays catch with Vieira, flips it far post. Ramirez can't win the header, but Mora is there. Sends it over, looking for Lopez once again, cleared by Zacapa. Braun once ahead, again to Secaria, will drop it, Hugo Cordero. Braun back for Cordero, pushing it deep into the middle. Edward Lopez poking it home with his left foot. There's his second goal, and it's 1-0 Saprisa. While I love when we blast it into the back of the net, sometimes you just need that little bit of artistry. Another corner from the near side, Braun. Can't pick up Vieira. Valverde will pop it on. Charging in is Secaria, but he can't get his head on it. And Aviles will deal with it and boot it into the Saprisa end. One back by Nassim Innocenti. Valverde up in the middle. Marrera. Ramirez, what a ball through. Lopez chips the keeper and the crossbar, and it's out. A beautiful opportunity for a second goal goes a begging off of the left foot of Edward Lopez. Hopefully, Zacapa does not come back and make us pay for that mistake later on as we head into the half with a very slim 1-0 lead, although a massive advantage in the shots on goal department, 10-2. to two. Zacapa enjoying a little bit more of the possession. We're doing a great job completing our passes. We're playing the game we've intended to play. We just need to keep going for the final 45. But no pressure to do anything, right? Early free kick in the second half. Sent in Zacapa. Marrera will clear it. Zecharia is going to track it down. And numbers going the other way if we hurry for Saprisa. Zecharia up the right wing. Still with it. Into Valverde, pushing it deep out wide for Secaria. Over for Brand, back into the box. Valverde turns and clatters it off of the edge of the post. Just the wrong edge. He caught the outside and could not tuck that one in. Free kick from a very dangerous position, about 26 yards away from goal. A five-man wall in front of Alejandro Brand. Is he going to go for it? He is, and he's going to drill it home. His first goal of the year, Saprisa 2, Zacapa nil. One of the additions this year to FM24, it may have been in earlier editions, but I don't remember seeing it as prevalently as I have this year, is the short free kicks, where instead of just going for goal, they lay it off to a player who's open, maybe making another pass and getting a much higher percentage shot. Obviously, it paid off that time doing it the old-fashioned way. Ball sent across. It makes its way through to Hugo Cordero. Crossing it over. Ramirez heading it down. Aviles making a huge save. And Zacapa able to clear. Valverde sending it back into the box. But Ochoa will handle that one pretty easily. 18-2. to two, Your shots on goal in favor of Saprisa as we look to make some changes with 15 minutes left to go. Ramirez is going to come out. Vitan Tusha is in. Valverde will make way for Steven Aquista. Two changes in this match. Marrera laying it to Tusha, who will just play it back. The number 10 getting it to Vitan Tusha. Got a little careless with that touch as Takapa able to clear it. Alejandro Braun back for Vieira. Cordero for Braun. Can he make the turn and take it wide? Instead, he'll lay it out to Cordero quickly to Secaria. Into the middle. Lopez poking home his second of the night. His third of the year to make it 3-0 Saprisa. Edward Lopez started the first match of the season. Came out late in place of Cordero, who was able to score a goal from the penalty, which earned Cordero the start in the second match. But coming back with a vengeance, Eduardo Lopez, a brace on the night, will give Saprisa the 3-0 victory and a very dominant performance when all was said and done. And we once again will sit at the top 
of the group table. Well, I stand corrected. Real Sociedad from Honduras has already played two matches. They are also on three points, but they have a goal difference of a plus five. And that is because they absolutely obliterated Port Leola, who just happens to be our next opponent. Before we get there, though, the small matter of Herediano in the lead. And even though we pressed our advantage early on, we could not take advantage. Herediano didn't have that problem going up 1-0 in the 24th minute. It was, though, in the second half that we finally found our scoring boots. Vitan Tusha giving it back to Ofori for his third goal of the season. Castro, Ofori getting involved again. So is Vitan Tusha taking it up, playing it back. Ofori is second on the match. All of a sudden, it's 2-1 Saprisa in the span of four minutes, and we would add a third. Coming in off the bench, Zecharia, Castro, back post. Tusha hits the post, but gets his own rebound, puts it past Shamaro. And even though on paper it was a very even match, the final score told a different story. A dominant performance in the second half gave Saprisa the 3 one victory. And that win, combined with a plus six goal difference, has once again propelled us to the top of the table in the opening stage in Costa Rica. But we are turning our focus today on Port Leola in the group stage of the Central American Cup. Bueni is going to get another start in goal. A back four of Gonzalez, Innocente, Barantes, and Aaron Vieira. Valverde and Braun will pair up in the midfield. Marrero will be at the 10. Our wingers will be Ramirez and Ofori. And today's striker, Esteban Cordero. I was tempted to see what we might get out of Lascano in goal, knowing that Port Leola comes in not only at the bottom of the table, but with a minus eight goal difference in just two matches. But we decided it's probably best to just go with the devil we know. And the team's lining up. Cordero taking the opening kickoff, laying it back for Vieira. This gives me hope that it's going to be a very early 1-0 Saprisa lead. Played up the left wing. Ramirez. Can he get past his man? Nope. Kind of does a stutter step. Valverde. 1-2 to Ramirez. Into the middle. Goes through Cordero. Waiting on the back post. Wide open is Kelvin Ofori. His fifth of the year. And 25 seconds in. It's 1-0. I guess when you play the match on key highlights, it kind of takes a little bit of the mystery out of it. But not all the time. Marrera sending it in. Cleared away, but Ofori back to get it. Recycles it quickly. He's got Ramirez in. He'll poke it past the keeper. And it's going to hit off the post and stay out. Barantes to Vieira. Pressured early. Back for Alejandro Braun to Valverde. Ofori looking for Ramirez. Cleared once again by Port Leola. And Palayo looking to go the other way before dropping it back for Torres. Palayo to Mondes here. Blocked. Comes to Cordero. He's got five men forward. Plays it out wide to Ramirez. Tracking it down into the box. Gonzalez across. Banks off of the defender to Valverde. First goal of the year. It's 2-0. I think if the first nine minutes of this match is any indication, this is going to be a cakewalk for Saprisa. Ramirez sending it all the way across, but Mouchamp is going to intercept. He'll send it long. Palaya chasing after it, but Barantes is about 20 yards ahead of him, so he will get there easily. Valverde playing it across. Nassim Innocente making his second start of the year. Out wide for Gonzalez. Played ahead. He's got William Ramirez. Ramirez pushing it deep, getting it into the box to Marrera. Palaya will take him down. The penalty has been called and a chance for Saprisa to go up 3-0, just shy of the 11-minute mark. Esteban Cordera gets Dos Santos to dive out of the way. His third goal of the year, and there's three. For those of you who like goals, welcome to the game. Although now I'm starting to think maybe I should have done what I did last year and just give you the highlights of the Cream Puff match in the group stage, but it's fine. We'll just come back with our final two group stage matchups in tomorrow's episode. Valverde playing it to Braun, pushing our advantage once again. Vieira, nice pass around the side to Ofori, into the middle. Cordero on the volley will miss it wide. A chance for four. Nine nil, your shots on goal in favor of Saprisa. We are still under 18 minutes into this match. Cordero spitting it out wide for Vieri. He's got Ofori. His shot will be handled by Dos Santos and played out behind for a corner, which we will take from the far side. Alejandro Brown is going to send this one in. He's got 
five targets in the box. One of them is Nassim Innocente. The first goal of the year for him, and it's 4-0 Saprisa. I've been doing such a good job, too, about keeping these episodes as short as possible so you guys don't have to commit as much of your time to watching this series on YouTube. But then we go and score four goals in the first 18 minutes of our second live com match of the episode. Vieira in control at the edge of the Saprissa third. We'll get it back from Barantes. Ferreira with plenty of space. In the middle, Alejandro Braun. A little bit of a traffic jam there. Moreira up the left wing. Ramirez will push it into the box. William Ramirez takes a shot and he boots it into Rosie. Dos Santos surveying his options before just sending it deep. Alejandro Braun is back to settle it down. Valverde again for Moreira. Cordero around the side. He's got Otor Ofori in and Kelvin Ofori scores again. Except the flag is up and the goal is has been called back. Yeah, that was, uh, in the end, a pretty good call. Dos Santos getting it started. Mondesir, Flowers, flipping it into the Saprisa box. Buheni, though, coming off his line and handling that one pretty easily. He'll take his time before he distributes. I'm not sure why everyone's kind of hanging around. Barantes, you were awfully close. But ultimately, it wins him the ball. Valverde feeding it out to Freddy Gonzalez. Playing at the left back to allow Innocente to get in the starting lineup. Marrero with it. Up the middle. Cordero with a blast from range. His fourth goal of the year. Saprisa taking a 5-0 first half lead. And we're still looking for more. 37th minute. Ofori off the throw in. Back post. Ramirez sent it across. How did that stay out? I don't know. Corner in, Innocente, his header, will clatter off of the defenseman and go out behind. We'll get another opportunity from that far side. Alejandro Braun sending it in once again. Flowers popping it up. And a third consecutive corner on that far side for Alejandro Braun. He lines it up, sends it in. Flowers up again. This time it doesn't go out. Gonzalez to Ramirez off of the woodwork. Cleared. Ofari nodding it down for Vieira across Innocente who will drop it back for Valverde. Oh my goodness. Not one, not two, but three opportunities off of that far corner. 44th minute now. Cordero going for it from about 28 yards out and Dos Santos able to dive and make that stop. Sending it long into the Saprisa end. Braun will head it forward. Palayo dropping it down, but Marrera's got it up the middle. Cordero, he'll hold up play, put it into the box. Ramirez beats the keeper one-on-one. -on -one. His first, and it's 6-0. I mean, we really couldn't make that look any easier. They still managed three shots on goal, two of them on target. All of our players in the green, we are playing fantastic football. 27 shots on goal in the first half alone. 14 on target. 6-0, your score. I think I'm going to spare you the pain of any superfluous commentary and just give you the actual highlights. 25 minutes remaining in the match. We are going to make substitutions. We're going to give some... Younger players, an opportunity to shine. Daniel Torres is going to come in as the striker. Ofori has been absolutely fantastic. Sekaria is going to take his place on the right-hand side. Michael Sambataro will replace Freddy Gonzalez as our right-back. And Fabrizio Quiros coming in for Diego Marrera as we make a quadruple change off of the goal kick. Sending it low and long. There's Alejandro Braun. He's got Zacharia. He shoots from range. Save made by Dos Santos. It goes off of the post. We remain in control. Braun, the Valverde, Dos Santos, another beautiful save. If there is one player from Port Leola who has actually played a good game regardless of the scoreline, that is the keeper, Dos Santos. Braun to send in the corner. Flowers. Decent there on the set pieces as well as Port Leola finally able to clear one out. Innocente in control. Still 11 minutes and change remaining in regular time. Hopefully they don't add on too much at the end of this one and just put uh, Port Leola out of their misery. Braun to Karos around the side. He's got Sekaria pushing it deep in the middle. Torres, his shot will be blocked and a Afok will be able to clear that away. Um, I had to be very careful. 
saying that player's name. Uh, it caught me by surprise when I saw it and as it was coming out of my mouth. San Bataro up the left wing. Ramirez gets past one man, plays it across, but out and wide. Barrientes controlling it up ahead for Braun. Quiros in a bit of traffic, finds Secaria, heavy touch, loses it. Torres, back heel pass, San Bataro looking back post, Secaria, he can't get there, he will track it down and keep it in along the byline, into the box, Valverde in with his second goal of the year, Saprisa 7, Port Leola, nil. Who knew that Jose Valverde would add a brace to the score sheet in this game? Kiros back out for Secaria, carries it to the sideline, circles back and leaves it for Barantes. Back ahead, Secaria with some space into the box. Secaria taking it deep, moves it to his left foot, scores his second of the year, and makes it eight. Two minutes added on, wondering if we have a ninth in us, but the full-time whistle will blissfully come for Port Leola. They managed just a single shot in the second half. We, on the other hand, managed 16 43 shots on goal, 22 of them on target. Alexander Dos Santos had a really good game considering the pressure he was put under by his team all night long. Ofori scoring, Valverde with a brace, Cordero with a brace, Innocente, Ramirez, and Secaria all adding goals in this one. In the end, a resounding 8-0 Saprissa victory. Coming up next, we have Liberia in the league. We're going to take care of that off camera. Tomorrow's episode will feature the remaining games in Group B of the Central American Cup. We're taking on Real Esteli at home. And then we head to Honduras to take on Real Sociedad, the team that is challenging us for the top of the table. Both of us sitting there on six points by virtue of our goal difference. We are in the top spot and we are looking to qualify through into the knockouts. If you enjoyed that episode and especially that drubbing of Port Leola, make sure that you hit that thumbs up and like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. If you're brand new, welcome in. I hope to see you again. See everybody for the next episode. Until we meet again, bye bye.